everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a quiet sunny day but it was really nice out. I actually spent some time outside and Mama Bird, she was outside and I put a tarp on our, what it used to be a chicken tractor kind of thing. It's used just for them to get out of the weather and out of the wind and out of the sun if they want to be outside. So I put a tarp on that today. I had a question that was asked to me about how the, the rooster could see the, the hawk the other day. Did you know that the chickens, and the rooster especially, their eyes work independently? I know it's funny. One is nearsighted and one is farsighted. So when they're pecking on the ground, that they're using their one eye, and when they're pecking when they're and they're still looking around they see shadows of things and they can see more colors than we can see but they can't see in the dark so they so when you put them to to their um at night when you lock them in that's when a lot of times they say you can go in and um add a new bird because they wake up in the morning and think that they're they were always there or if you need to take a bird out like whenever my roosters would leave the leave here because they're too hard to catch my brother would come when it was darker out and he would snatch a leg just like a snake he was really good at it i i would be afraid and the the bird squawks and carries on and then it's quiet and he says yep that's a rooster for you because the hens don't make all that noise like that they flap their wings and they do a different kind of squawk but it's not the same squawk as the rooster does. Um, you may have to have him come over and help you catch your two flyers. Uh, he would have to do the clipping and that too. I've watched people clip wings, but I'm really kind of scared. I did clip one time. I had to wash a couple chicken butts. <laughs> and the one, and actually two chickens, I had to mm -hmm. clip their their feathers on their fluffy butt because every time they pooped they were getting their little feathers and I didn't want the the poop on all over their feathers so I had to clip them and so we had to I had to wash their butts this was so funny but it was the buffs and the buffs are real gentle and easy to catch and um, in fact last year I had to wash one of the buffs bottoms but I didn't clip her wings and I mean clip her bottom I left it there and she stayed clean this rooster is being so nice to the girls, he is not wearing out their feathers. There's only one hen that has a little bit of feathers missing on the top of her head, and it's one of the black birds, black um, hens. It's the skinny black hen. He must like her better, or she was more feisty, and he held her down a lot harder than he did the other ones, because the other ones, they just, they're so docile. And Silver Fox is not... Um, laying eggs right now. She um, won't lay for at least another four weeks. And Emma has not gotten off her nest. She is one of those mamas that is so um, committed. That was the word I was looking for. I knew I knew it. <laughs> She's so committed to being a mama that she doesn't even get off the nest. She was the one that sat through three 21 days of sitting. She sat twice and never had any results. Then she sat and watched another hen. And then she tried to steal the babies. She was really, she really, really, really wanted to be a mama. So let's hope that she gets some babies out of these eggs. I still haven't seen whether she's got more than the four that I put underneath her. I hope she almost has another one. Just because this way, hopefully, she gets some results. Because usually she gets two that hatch and two that don't. Or maybe she'll have real good luck. I don't know. Well, that's all I have for you today. I wanted to tell you about the rooster eyes. They can see um, near, near and far, and so can the chickens. And that's it for today. I hope you have a great night, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.